Hi, good afternoon, so I'm back with my two pistols here. I've got the uh, M17 SIG uh, pellet shooter blowback and the Walter PPQ auto blowback. Uh, I've just taken 15 shots at the target. You've seen and the SIG was actually shooting really low from the center. So I'm going to take 10 more shots, uh, just my aim point for that. The PPQ of two was shooting almost exactly where I was aiming, so I was, I was actually aiming the neck, so I'll probably aim a little higher this time, and hopefully I shall put 10 in the centre of the head, or pretty close to it. Um, so I'm going to take the M17 first, I've got a rough idea of where I'm going to aim now, and then I'll show you the corona results after. So I'm going to zoom in on the body, it's 15 metres out. There we go, so that is... That will be the aim point. I've also chalked the other target hole so we know which is the fresh one. So here goes. Uh, so aim point was there. Had it predicted about there. So we know the aim point would be somewhere around probably about the neck area of the foot. So here goes. Ten shots. Keep standing. Still hitting wood. Still shooting low. It's going to shoot at the head then. That sounds a bit better. What neck it is. The CO2 is not very good on this pistol. Sound a bit better. The soft wooden frame is picking up the pellets. The sound like going to the paper now. Not really counting, so I've got ten. I've only got about one more left, I think. Oh, nope, that's it, we're out. So that's ten shots. Now onto the PPQM2. We're going to go to the head, and I know roughly where the new aim point will be. It won't be far off where we we're aiming before. I'll probably aim actually to the centre of his head. Should be pretty close actually. Right, so here goes. Ten shots. Take one shot and see where they go. That sounded okay. Didn't sound like it hit any wood, so. A bit of wood, so maybe a little bit higher ahead. We are 15 meters out, we are free standing, and my hernia is giving me grief again, which it always does when I outstretch my arms. I'll take a bit of a break between. Yeah, that was probably a little bit high. Probably the top of the head, because that top of the head is covered by the, the board, the soft board behind it, so... That's it. And definitely out. Down his right. There's more pellets coming out of there. Right. So, we'll be able to look at that video and see where those pellets landed. So, reviewing these two pistols. Obviously, this is a PPQM2. I've done a lot of shooting with this. I've um, done a bit of spring work on the recoil spring with its problem with blowing off. I've had no problem since then, since I fixed that. Um, the M17. Yep, yeah, both nice pistols, 
uh, but I believe this is the more accurate of the two. Um, I think the problem with the uh, the M17 is it rotates the belt, but it doesn't actually lock it in position. So it's it's a bit of a floating belt, the chain, the plastic belt. With this, it's a rubber belt. It grips the pellet better, um, but it also, as you pull the trigger, it actually locks the belt. So it rotates the belt as you pull the trigger, and then locks in position so it can't move, and then it fires the pellet out. So it's a better sort of design. Now we're looking at the actual chronograph results. I put both these pistols through the chronograph uh, from a fresh CO2. I fired about I don't know three or four dry fires first. Um, gave them 30 seconds in between shots at least for the CO2 to recover. About 14 degrees centigrade today. So five shots. Interestingly, yeah, the M17 here on the left, um, it was nowhere near as consistent as the actual PPQM2. Uh, it was doing about um, averaging uh, 288 uh, FPS, uh, 1.55 foot-pounds energy, with the superfields 8.4 grain, but the spread was 35. Uh, FPS over the five shots which is quite wide. In comparison over here you've got the Walther PPQ who had a, an average velocity of a 364 FPS 2.47 foot-pounds energy yeah with a spread of only 11 okay so the PPQ M2 is much more consistent uh, I think a lot of that is due to with the fact it's got a rubber belt it locks the belt in position so there's no floating no movement of it and also the barrel is better quality. You know, the rifle barrel is much better with the, with the, with the Umrex. All Umrex pistols seem to have really top quality rifle barrels, even they're relatively cheap pistols in the 100 to 150 range. So, which one do I recommend? Well, to be fair, the Walther. <laughs> I've got lots of Walthers, yeah, even the cheap, like, you know, like the uh, Smith & Wesson MMP45 pellet shooter, eight shot rotary I've got. All the other ones, all the you know the, the top four as they call it, and they all shoot fantastic. The quality of the barrels are fantastic. Um, SIGs just seem. I've got a couple of SIGs. In fact, I've got I've got the Virtus as well, and they just seem, wow, erratic really with the you know the quality of the actual. Um, putting it, I've got a laser on that as well, and I've shot it with a laser, and it does tighten up a bit. So it might be the way the the slide sights are moving. There's a lot of, let me target so up the wind is really gusty today it's blown over about four times i've actually got packs of baked beans on the stand to keep it still because it gets blown over so gusty it is yeah so yeah no doubt about it that when you compare the two yeah you know this is doing about like 1.5 foot pounds this is doing 2.5 ish foot pounds yeah and they're both really really they're, they're nice they're really nice pistols don't get me wrong but if you want like accuracy uh yeah, the Walther. If you want, just fun. Both of them really, you're just blasting away. But the thing is, it, I know for a fact this will hit cans out to 15 meters, no problem. Um, I, in fact, I think it did one at 17 and a half meters, if I'm rightly, for this one. I haven't shot this out, an accuracy test on a tin can out at 17 and a half, and I have got a can out there at 17 and a half meters, so I might have a crack at that later. But yeah, I mean, out of the two, they're, they're both. I say roughly the same price. I mean, when this came out, it was about 200. Uh, when this came out, this is to about 215, 220. Um, you can get this cheaper now, but yeah, they're they're not far off as in price-wise. But when it comes to actually accuracy, yeah, this is by far more accurate in my in my in my eyes. And yeah, um, some people say, well, SIGs are great. Yeah, they're nice, but I just I just wish that SIG had probably put better barrel rifle barrels in them, better quality rifle barrels, because I think that is a lot of the problem. You know, the the uh, P320 I've got, exactly the same as this, doesn't shoot great. Um, but the, the Walters all do. Even the, even this one, which has got blowback, shoots really, really well. Really, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you choked there, you're really accurate. <laughs> so yeah, hope you like that little video. <laughs> Thanks for watching.